hi guys how is everyone doing today welcome back to my channel today is gonna be a chit chat video and I'm gonna be talking about what to do when you get overwhelmed yes so before I start please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not done so it's free it doesn't take time go ahead just hit that red subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that when I upload a new video you will get notified okay so now back to the business at hand this is how to do deal how to deal with an overwhelming situation okay so uh, what do you do when things are not going as planned that is the question I'm putting to you today in this video when things are not going as you have planned it be it in your business be it in your place of work be it life in general how do you go about it what do you do okay so um, I have a few tips here of things I have used when things were not going the right way or things did not go as planned you know so I just thought I should make a video and also share with you my viewers okay um, when things are not going as planned or things are not going the right direction that we have thought it will go so the first thing you want to do is to draw away you know is to uh, pull back you know be secluded and not discuss about it um, I would say be open and be ready to discuss about it do not draw away okay so find somebody who is close to you who is in your inner circle you know if you are married it might be your husband okay so discuss with your husband discuss with a friend uh, please do not draw away because when you draw away that is when your mind will start thinking all kind of crazy stuff all kind of crazy ideas will begin to come into your mind please do not draw away process your emotion and take process your emotion and take all your troubles as it comes okay process your emotions process your thoughts and take it as it comes because this situation or whatever trouble or whatever it is you're going through it will not last forever it's just for a season it's just for a time okay so make sure you are ready to discuss discuss with your spouse discuss with a close friend you know and also process your emotion as it comes okay guys your emotions um, and the problem will you know will not last forever please do not go emotionally emotionally bankrupt do not get all worked up in your emotion or in your feelings and to the point that it will break you down okay so the people around you or your inner circle might not be equipped to help you I also want you to know that that close friend you run to talk to or your husband or your wife might not be even equipped to help you at that particular time so also bear in mind that okay it's good to open up to talk but sometimes those people you talk to might not be equipped to help you at that time do not get offended if they do not help you and or if they cannot offer you any kind of uh, reasonable explanation or help do not get offended because maybe they haven't gone through that situation before or something um, in that kind of nature so but do not give up always seek for help you can look uh, seek for help from a therapist or from a uh, psychiatrist you know people like that who are professionally professionally trained you know might be able to help you one also thing your fate you know I have my faith and I'm somebody I always trust God for everything so make sure you trust in the Lord if you are somebody who have faith in God make sure you trust in the Lord but if you are somebody who is like a free thinker you know 
make sure you visit a psychiatrist or a therapist but i tell you once you trust in god he will never fail you god does not fail god does not fail he does not fail i have trusted him i have tried him so many times he always come true for me so i always hold on to my faith okay so i will read um a part of the scripture in psalm 61 verse 1 and 2 which says hear my cry O god attend unto my prayers from the ends of the earth will i cry unto you the ends of the earth the ends of the earth will i cry unto you in my own understanding the ends of the earth is when i am completely down when i don't have any help when i am completely helpless that is when i feel oh this is my end this is the ends of the earth for me so in that stage in that particular time i will cry unto god for help you know it continues to say from the ends of the earth will i cry unto you when my heart is overwhelmed when i am downcasted when i don't know what else to do lead me to the rock that is higher than i who is the rock that is higher than i who is the rock that is higher than you is the lord our savior jesus christ is the lord god almighty he is the rock that is higher than me it is the rock that is higher than you so in your prayers always pray that god in this situation i hand it over to you lead me to the rock that is higher than i because on my own i cannot do anything okay so the next point i want to share is talk about what you are going through don't lose your mind because when you don't speak things begin to run in your head like i've said before you know don't get bottled up it may lead to destruction and you don't want to be destroyed okay you want to come out of that situation victoriously okay you may vent is a form of healing you know you may cry at night you may also uh you know vent out you know speak it out you know is a form of healing all those are bringing about your healing process especially when you have handed it over to the lord is all bringing out your healing process and also i would say submit to the will of god okay submit to the will of god and he will bring you out of it like i told you i have trusted god i have tried him so many times and he has always come true for me especially when i use this psalm 61 okay you know lead me to the rock that is higher higher than i in my own power i cannot do it in my own state i have i i cannot do it i have no power of my own so i want somebody that is higher than me spiritually physically who owns the world who knows what i'm going through okay so uh, um god is always there for us okay submit to the will of god if god says move right you move right if he says move left you move left and how do you know the will of god in the in the in the word of god okay at that particular time look at you know examples of um people in the bible that have gone through similar situations or something and get encouraged because even the word of god says we should encourage ourselves in the word of god encourage yourself in the lord so my dear brothers my dear sisters when you are overwhelmed please go to the rock that is higher than you go to the rock that is bigger than you and who is that rock jesus is the rock our lord and savior is the rock he will bring you out of that situation no matter what it is no matter how difficult that situation might be he's not bigger than god okay so there's this song that we always sing that says hear my cry oh lord attend unto my prayers from the ends of the earth will i cry unto thee for when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than i that is higher than i 
when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, that is higher than I. So make sure you remember the song if you know it and when you are passing through whatever you are passing through, make sure you sing that song and that song will bring encouragement, that song will bring succor, that song will bring peace to you. Okay, my dear friends, make sure you like this video and give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you in my next video do not worry do not fret the lord is with you all the time okay so see you in my next one guys bye bye